they think they know me. Like, no, they really think they know me so well. Like, I passed by a supermarket to be informed of the glamorous weekend that Claudia had. And apparently, I went to Malibu and got crazy with my soap opera friends. You know, the funny thing is that being informed of all the going-ons of your weekend while you're out walking your dear little doggy. And <clears throat> these sort of things, like, they're always happening to me. I, f I feel so violated by the media. And all the lies that they sit here and write in these tabloids, for instance, Claudia got dumped by her primetime boyfriend. Um, Claudia got her car impounded because she refused to park in a normal parking space. Um, what the, what? Like, this is why I've decided to honestly just come down and decide to set the record straight right here, right now, in front of all of you. Um, I'm gonna let you know, like, the real Claudia Pickle Week. So, first off, you must know, it's it's not easy being me. Like, I have to look my best at all times. Like, this just doesn't come natural. And do you have any idea how early I have to get up just for my professional hair and makeup crew to make me presentable for society? Like, I mean, it is not easy. And people are calling me all the time. My assistant blows me up just telling me stories and all of the calls that she's received for me. And... It's not easy breaking up with primetime star boyfriend. It's not. Like, yeah, I broke up with him. He didn't break up with me, but this says otherwise. But, you know, he did. He made the worst mistake ever. He did. He bought me pink roses. Pink. Like, everyone knows that my favorite color is red, not pink. And, like, to talk about my little car incident, yeah, my, my car was towed. Because some jerk moved it. Like, I'm not sure it was because I had some sort of extreme hate for me. But it's not like I would have parked in the handicap on purpose. I mean, come on. Jesus. And, like, you know, I, I'm not a bad person. I'm not. I'm really not. And I'm all for the charity, save the world, global warming, rah, 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 you know. Like, like those pedigree commercials. Like, about adopting dogs. Like, I did adopt a dog. Like, uh, a little miniature Shuzitsu Poo from Paris. Yeah, my little Pookie. Yeah, I, she was flown first class, you know, for her new little home. I was so excited. Like, but, back to the topic. I gave an animal a home. Like, doesn't that count for something? I mean, my job, like, it, it makes such a big impact on the world. Like, my characters are broken times. Like, they're in broken times, and they touch women all over the planet. And I don't get any credit. Like, how many people can say that? What really hurts me is that people are calling me a spoiled brat. Like, it's not like I had the most slavish upbringing. Like, did you know, like, my, my parents, like, they gave me a used car for my 16th birthday. They didn't buy me a new one. And I had to pay for my own prom dress. My own prom dress. Can you believe that? And all the people are just like, did you see the new bag Claudia just bought? And it must have cost a fortune. Like, why isn't she Fergo with money? Um, hello, because I like quality things, doesn't that, it doesn't make me a spoiled brat, it's infuriating, you know, like, did you ever, like, do you think I'm a spoiled brat, like, do you, you do, don't you, you know, I don't even know why I'm sitting here pouring my soul out to you, you know what, my life is difficult, okay, by the way, guys, you can get this monologue from ActressPoint.com. I'll be sure to post a link. Please feel free to drop a comment. I would love to hear feedback as well as if you guys want me to do any other monologues, um, just let me know. I'm currently looking for the audition one. I thought that guy was hilarious, but thanks.